Hello, hello everyone, um, and sorry for a little bit of a late start. We were just had a few um, technical problems that we needed to sort out. Of course, there had to be a little bit of drama at the very end, very K drama sort of a thing. <laughs> So it's late afternoon now here in Oxfordshire, and we have just come to the end of two very long, very intense, but very productive, thought-provoking and rewarding days of talking, listening, and learning. Thank you for being with us until the very end. Now, I can proudly say now that the Oxford World English Symposium has attracted nearly 2,000 registrants based in countries as varied as China, Bangladesh, Pakistan, India, Nigeria, Uruguay, Argentina, Malaysia, the Philippines, South Africa, Uganda, Australia, just to name a few. So based on this alone, I think we can declare our event a success. You know, in the Philippines, we have a word, bayanihan. So this word is actually in the OED now too, and we define it as a traditional system of mutual assistance um, in which the members of a community work together to accomplish a difficult task. Now, the traditional depiction of Bayanihan is this image of uh, members of a rural community helping a neighbor move by literally moving their house, which is typically made of light building materials such as bamboo, nipa palm, and rattan. So the neighbors put the house on their shoulders and carry it to the new location. So the house that is, that is this symposium has been carried by a lot of shoulders. And I would just like to take the last few moments of this symposium to express my gratitude towards everyone who contributed to the success, not only of the Oxford World English Symposium, but all of the OED and Oxford Languages World English initiatives in the past few years. I would like to take this time to acknowledge everyone who participated in this Bayanihan. I would like to thank Michael Prophet, the chief editor of the OED and one of the symposium co-chairs, for opening the program today and for his unwavering support and invaluable contributions to the symposium and to the OED's World English program. This also goes to all my editorial colleagues in the OED and Oxford languages. Thank you for always being open and curious and willing to listen. Thank you for always being willing to re-examine our processes and policies for lending your lexicographical expertise to improving our dictionary's coverage of varieties of English. It's a real privilege to be working with you in making our dictionaries a means of amplifying voices that have long been left unheard. I would like to acknowledge another one of my symposium co-chairs, Philip Lowe. Thank you for your enthusiasm and all the work you have put into crafting the symposium program with us in Oxford languages. Thanks as well for putting us in touch with various colleagues across Oxford University Press. One thing I am very proud of about the symposium is that we organized it in Oxford languages in collaboration with colleagues from all over the press, from the education division, from ELT, from several of OUP's international offices. I would like to thank Philip and all of these OUP colleagues for your help in making this event a success and for supporting our world English activities in Oxford languages. I look forward to our continued collaboration. Um, I particularly would like to thank two OUP colleagues who are in the Symposium Planning Committee, uh, David Martin, Head of our Strategic Lexical Projects team in Oxford Languages, and Diana Lee, Product Development and Lead at OUP ELT. Um, I would like to express my gratitude to my other Symposium co-chair, Lisa Lim of Curtin University. Thank you, Lisa, for working with me, Philip, and Michael in putting together such a brilliant group of expert speakers from around the world. Our long-standing partnership with you is the perfect illustration of just how central our collaboration with external consultants and research partners are to our work on World English. I look forward to even more years of productive partnership. To our speakers, who so generously gave us their time and expertise in the past couple of days, Thank you. It is quite a long and impressive list, but I would really like to mention each of your names to express our appreciation for each of you. So Jeanette Alsop, Nilanjana Banerjee, Phil Benson, Glennis Collard, Claire Cowie, Sharmila Guha, Paul Ganashakar, Willie Sui, Rosemary Hall, Azir Hashim, Mirka Honkanen, Belboy Singoma, Paul Kerswell, Gian Kier, Amanda Lagusen, Matthew Moreland, Joy Onyomaechi, Celeste Rodriguez Loro, Heath Rose, Sa Catherine Sangster, Kola Tubasun, Ruani Tupa Tupas, Kingsi Uguani, Tim Van Niekirk, Bertus Van Roy, 
Dwemin Vijayaratne, Quentin Williams, Lee Swiner, Cherry Wan Lee, and Kelly Elizabeth Wright. Thank you so much to all of you. Now to our keynote speaker, Aisha Townsend. You know, it's very hard to be creative when you're a speaker of a minoritized variety of English, when you're constantly being judged based on your linguistic performance, when, you, when your experimentations with words are considered aberrations that will bring down the English language. Thank you for showing so powerfully this morning just how much beauty we can create when we speak in our own voices and how much knowledge we can communicate too. What I found so gratifying during the symposium was hearing all this fascinating knowledge sharing going on in such a wide variety of accents, really reflecting the way that English is being used in today's world. Thank you, Aisha, for letting your art convey so movingly and eloquently the important message of inclusion of today's event. Finally, I have to express my warmest thanks, especially after I've just solved a really harrowing technical problem. <laughs> I have to express my warmest thanks to my colleagues working behind the scenes, without whom we'd all just be a bunch of overdressed people sitting at home staring into a screen. Their work on the logistics and tech of the symposium is what is connecting us all, and we owe them a huge vote of thanks. My colleagues in Oxford Languages Marketing, Andy Allen, thank you so much for the coordination and support. Joe Altred for all of your hard work on the symposium in the varieties of English pages. We couldn't do any of this without you. Tommy McDonald for keeping us connected on social media. The marketing team's work is central to ensuring that all our messaging on world Englishes gets to the very people to which, to which these messages will matter the most. So many thanks to you. And many thanks as well to Ella Percival and other colleagues in OUP Group Communications for the publicity and communication support. Thank you to our tech support from Big Marker and to our excellent host, Sean Walden, for keeping everything running smoothly and making sure that everyone knows what they're doing. And of course, I reserve my final and most special thanks to our community manager, Simone Bichara Desecchi, my partner in this particular crime, figuratively speaking, of course. I remember meeting with Simone in January 2020 when she asked me whether I would be interested in giving a webinar. And I was like, a webinar? You mean like online, like speaking to a camera, like, you know, to a computer? What? What's, what's that? <laughs> so we had no idea what was awaiting us then. But since then, we have worked together in so many webinars and community outreach activities for World Englishes, which have been some of the most rewarding experiences I've had in my professional life. The symposium is just a culmination of all of this work. And as with everything we've done together, Simone handled everything with amazing efficiency, grace, and calm. Obrigada, Simone. I appreciate you so much. And as Michael said <clears throat> this morning in his opening remarks, we are here in the symposium to listen and to learn. And you've done a lot of that today. And you'll be talk uh, taking everything we've heard and learned and make sure we convert them into concrete actions that will lead us closer to our goal, which is, as stated in the thrust of this symposium, is to create dictionaries and other lexical resources that best serve the needs of English speakers of diverse ethnic and cultural backgrounds who use the language in a wide range of social linguistic contexts. So to all of you who have joined us, thank you. I hope you also learned a lot in the last couple of days and that the symposium has given you greater appreciation of language in all of its diversity. So, <clears throat> so I'm a little bit out of breath. <laughs> this has been quite an intense couple of days and my head is just really swimming with ideas and emotions. And, you know, I'm really glad we have a long weekend coming up in the UK so I can take the time to process everything and get back to work. It, you know, um, but before that, you know, do a little Wordle. I haven't done Wordle the past couple of days because I've been so busy. But so I'm glad that I can come up for air and can take the time to process everything and get back to work with even more motivation and renewed energy. So I'll close the symposium and leave you by thanking you in the most sincere and heartfelt way I know how, in my mother tongues, plural. Thank you so much and maraming, maraming, maraming salam.